Welcome to this video tutorial dedicated to the integration of a TLB4 multi-channel weight transmitter into an Ethernet IP network managed by an Allen Bradley PLC using a generic module for configuring the data exchange. The setup used in this tutorial consists of an Allen Bradley 1756L61 PLC module an Allen Bradley 1756 EN2T Ethernet IP module and a TLB4 Ethernet IP multi-channel weight transmitter. RS Logix 5000, a component of Studio 5000 package distributed by Rockwell Automation, is the tool used for the system setup and programming. The documentation required for the integration procedure consists of the communication protocols manual for the TLB4. All the documentation is available for download to Laumas customers on the TLB4 specific web page of Laumas website. Before using the programming software to obtain a correct Ethernet communication, we should properly configure both the 1756 Ethernet IP module and the TLB4. Acting on specific hardware selectors, the 192.168.1.1 IP address has been assigned to the Ethernet IP module, whereas the T for TLB4 the procedure to follow is uh, access uh, to the instrument menu and uh, select the Ethernet item, select the IP address parameter and access the A, B, C and the items to set the 192.168.1.170 value compatible with the address assigned to the PLC Ethernet IP module. Access the subnet and gateway parameters to set values compatible with the IP address. In this case, we'll leave the default value for the subnet uh, parameter. There's one. While we set uh, 192.168, dot one dot two value for the gateway. The swap parameter defines the byte order used for the data exchanged on the Ethernet IP bus. The default value is kept at no, corresponding to the little Indian notation. Some more details about this parameter will be given later in this tutorial. Now we can move on the RS Logix 5000 interface. A project is already open in the controller organizer window IO configuration section. You can see the current structure of the Ethernet IP network with the 1756L60 backplane in which the 1756L61 PLC module and the 1756 EN2T um, Ethernet IP module are installed. To add the instrument to the project's Ethernet IP network using a generic uh, module, right click on Ethernet and uh, select New Module. In uh, the selection uh, window that uh, opens, type uh, generic to filter the objects in the catalog and after selecting Ethernet module click on create. To complete the entry fill in the name field with for example scale 1 Set the IP address field with a value previously assigned to the instrument 
Select data as int in the com format field. The size value requested in the connection parameters section is expressed now in byte number. Complete the fields in the connection parameters section using the information contained in the table parameters for class 1 communication in the protocols manual with reference to pure, the pure data column. Input assembly instance 101 and size equal to 22. Output assembly instance 100 and size equal to 8. Configuration assembly instance 128 and size to 0. Click OK to complete the configuration and uh, return to the main window. Now, to check the correct communication between PLC and instrument, from the Communications menu, click on Download. The project is compiled and downloaded in the PLC. Once the download has been successfully completed and once the PLC is returned to run mode, access the logic menu and click on monitor text. The window that opens shows the data. exchanged on uh, the network, sorted using the information used to configure the generic module in the project. Select the X format for both the input and the output data sections to view the data in hexadecimal format. Using the TLB protocols manual, it is possible to properly manage this data in the section dedicated to the Ethernet IP interface with the use of a, a generic module, as in this tutorial. The table to refer to is the one relating to the pure data communication mode. Among the input data received by the PLC, we have the TL four bytes that make up the Ethernet IP header value, the four bytes that make up the current gross weight value, the four bytes that make up the current net weight value, the uh, four bytes that make up the output exchange register, the two bytes that make up the status register value, and so on for the other parameters described in the table. With uh, reference to the current values, some observations regarding the weight values management. The two values are currently identical because no tear is applied. For both of them, the absolute value is transmitted, including the decimals, but without the decimal point. Each value is made up of four bytes. 
In the case of the Ethernet IP, the order in which the bytes are published by default is the little endian. Therefore, the bytes of lower value are the first. At this moment, for example, for the gross weight, the uh, lower value bytes are 87 and 0b, while the higher value bytes are 00 and 00. If uh, the opposite uh, order is uh, required, called uh, big endian, just set the swap parameter in uh, the Ethernet menu to yes. In this way, the bytes of lower value are the last. The choice among little or big endian notations is often related to the automation system and used software libraries characteristics. The same notation used for weight values, big or little endian, is used for all the published values with a multiple byte size, for example, status register or exchange register. The information about the sign of the weight values is available in addition to other information regarding the operating status of the instrument in uh, the bits of the status register. In uh, the protocols manual, a specific table shows the meaning assigned to each of the 16 bits that make up this field, particularly bit 7 and 8 indicate the sign of ROS and the net weight equal to 1 when the corresponding current weight is negative. Bit 11 is equal to 1 if the current gross weight is stable, otherwise it shows 0. Bit 10 is equal to 1 if a third value is applied by the instrument to the calculated net weight. The other bits that make up the status register, as shown in the table, provide a series of useful information to monitor the operation of the weighing system, allowing to recognize hardware faults or specific weight condition, for example, if the gross weight is equal to zero or greater than the maximum allowed weight. Among the data output from the PLC, it is uh, useful to focus especially on the command uh, register. This uh, two-byte value is uh, used to send specific numeric codes uh, to the instrument, each of which corresponds to a request for execution of a specific operation. All the numerical codes allowed and the relative associated operations are available in the protocols manual. For example, we can test the operation of the common codes for the semi-automatic tear operation, code 7 to perform a semi-automatic tear and code 9 to remove the previously applied semi-automatic tear. Considering the little endian notation currently applied, writing the code 7 in the least significant byte of the command register, a semi-automatic tear operation is uh, required. Once uh, executed, the net weight is uh, zeroed and uh, bits 10 and 11 of the status register change to 1, signaling an applied error and a displayed weight value equal to 0. To repeat the same operation several times, it is necessary to interpose the writing of the value 0 in the command register to the writing of the numerical code corresponding to the operation. For example, 
applying this uh, sequence. We can uh, perform a second semi-automatic tear after applying an additional weight to the scale. At this point, writing the command code 9 in the command register, the removal of the semi-automatic tear is obtained. The gross weight and the net weight are now equal again and bits 10 and 11 switch to zero accordingly. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for attending the it see you soon.